Why does this grape plant here look completely different than the rest of them on this row? Well, that's a great question. Why do these grape plants at the end look completely different than the rest of them? And not only that, the grapes are larger and there's more of them. Um, it, it's one of these things that it just blows the mind. I'm in a, I'm in a vineyard that's probably in total of a couple hundred acres. So you'd think all this great planning would have gone into this thing. But it's a little stuff that screws everything up. And so you have, we're, we're in uh, late August, and so we're setting up these grapes for table, or for wine production. And you can see that overall the effect was to keep a modest amount of water on these grapes. So in the Vinter's mind to enhance the flavor of the wine. So at the end of most of the uh, lines of the grapes have these huge flourishing vines with large setup of uh, grapes that are also much more full denser. I mean the, the, this thing weighs a considerable amount more than this little thing over here. It's a completely different grape. It's the same plant, but when they go to look at the things that, and I'm not a wine grape expert, but obviously they look at sugar content and um, other factors, this will not be the same grape. And it's very simple. Whoever put the irrigation system in completely screwed up. The grapes are on a slope, so they're using half inch or five eighths drip tubing to irrigate them. And at the end, all they did was use a little figure eight landscape closing um, drip tube device. What should have been done is to put in a flushing end cap two, three feet away from the vineyard or from the row of the grapes. Because when this system shuts down, the water stays in the drip line and then slowly drips out at the end row vines, producing a completely different effect on the grape plant. We had a huge flourishing grape plant with, like we would want to have for table grapes, not for wine grapes, I presume, because I don't see wine grapes like this very often. So if they had put in a flushing end cap, all the grapes at the end, whether it's one vine or several vines, would be consistent with the vines in the rest of the orchard. And not only that, the flushing end cap would get rid of any little bugaboos, uh, mineral buildups, algae buildups inside the line. Instead, this is solely trapping all that junk in the pipe. So ultimately, they'll have to wind up replacing all the emitters on the drip line. Remember, in using a drip irrigation system above ground or below ground, always put in a flushing end cap. 